Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome to the Church 51, y'all. <laughs> um, today's episode, we are going to do a little bit of a backstory, and we're going to taste one of the Horse Soldier bourbons. Um, Horse Soldier's got one hell of a story. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool, and it's it's it kind of hits home for us because it's it involves Columbus. Did it still does? It still does. It still does. It's a it's a very small part, but it still does. I mean, so, it does, but yeah. at the same time, you yeah, know. But the story is crazy. So I'll jump right into the story. Um, back. Right after 9-11, when the decision was made that we were going to send troops to the Middle East, um, the one of the first, tr you know, units that we sent over there were, it was a Green Beret unit that was sent to overthrow Taliban forces in northern Afghanistan. Um, these soldiers would ride wild Afghan horses into battle, um, which is bananas. Uh, they were eventually successful in their mission, and that unit was forever known as the Horse Soldiers. So, yeah. I mean, just to get that name, it's pretty sweet. Like, I just got like, be imagine like a U.S. soldier on a horse. <laughs> like, be scary. <laughs> that'd be really scary. Like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see. But that. these Good. these guys, I mean, they went through some. Pretty horrific stuff, but they eventually got the job done. And uh, this distillery and this bottle is a commemoration, and it it was basically made in their honor. And the guys behind this are actually veterans, either from that operation or from the war. And <laughs> speaking of war, <laughs> it just started gunshot. <laughs> But anyway, so they uh, these soldiers came home and they, they started this distillery. And uh, one of the coolest things about this distillery is the state of New York donated steel from the actual Twin Towers, like the wreckage of the Twin Towers. And what they did with it is they made the mold for their, for their bottles. So every horse soldier forged in fire bottle, this glass was formed in a mold made out of 911 steel. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. And it's really cool. But what also is cool is this bourbon or whiskey, whatever you want to call it, is actually distilled and aged right here in Columbus, Ohio. Middle West Spirits. Middle West Spirits. Now that's not the actual horse soldier distillery. The distillery is American Freedom Distillery. Um, so I think what happened is they started in Columbus and then I think they moved their operation Florida. to Florida. Yeah. And they realized really quick, like you can't age whiskey in Florida. It's just too hot. Um, so they were basically making the bourbon or whiskey here in Ohio, aging it, and then they were sending it down to Florida to get bottled. And then they were distributing that's why you'd never see it here in Ohio. You really don't see it anywhere in the right. north, really. But you see a lot of it in the south. Right. It's so it's weird. Yeah, it's a weird thing. But it's cool. I mean, it's a it's a very historic, you know. I mean, it, it's just a cool story. The backstory is really rich. That's really it's really just so nice. cool. It's so cool. There's even a movie. I think it's called Twelve Strong, that they made about um, the stuff that these guys did. You know. And uh, it's a great movie. I think the guy that plays Thor is in oh, it. Okay. What's yeah. his name? Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah, he's in it. Great movie. Um, but let's dive right in. How far to open that bad boy? This particular, I think there's like four or five different horse soldiers. The the peak horse soldier is like the commander edition or something like that. It's not cheap. It is not cheap. <laughs> Uh, we <laughs> this one's got good reviews though. This is the uh, barrel strength bourbon whiskey and it is a forged in fire bottle. So this bottle was forged in the uh, World Trade Center steel mold, oh boy. which is pretty cool. So 
So it'll make a it'll make a good addition to the uh, to death row. Let's see if I can open. Fruit, dark fruit, so like a uh, um, like chocolate covered strawberry. A little bit. It doesn't really smell too strong. I see. I can see like whipped cream. Yeah, I mean it's 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 pretty sweet. It's, it's on the nose. It smells creamy at least. Yeah, that's right. That's actually a really interesting smell. It's peanuts. Little, little bit. A little bit of peanut. It's really good. I have a feeling I'm like a maraschino cherry, like hardcore. Yeah, chocolate covered cherries. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe that maybe that's a better word than Brady. strawberry. Cheers, my friend. Yeah. The truth. Wow. Wow. That's. I'll be honest, that's really different than anything I've really had. That is interesting. Get orange. I get a little bit of orange, I get, uh... What do you mean? 1792, Bob, the Hedger. Yeah. It's got like the lemony. A little bit. It citrus. does have a good burn to it, but oh, yeah. I get um, a little bit of honey, a little bit of butterscotch. A lot of the sweet notes that most bourbon has, but it still has that like perfumey thing that um, almost four rosy. Yeah, that's that's four roses is known for that, and that's yeah. that's a it's kind of weird a little bit, but it still has a good woodiness, um, almost like a spiced raisin, a little hint of toffee, a little bit of chocolate too, a dark chocolate. That's probably the sweetest top. I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. American freedom, baby. And there's yeah, there's a bald eagle head on the top. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's a sweet bottle. Hmm. That's a sweet bottle. We do have, I have another bottle. It's actually signed by a couple of the soldiers that um, run that distiller down in Florida. Um, it's kind of a bottle I never really want to open just because it means so much. But we weren't going to involve it in this podcast. Or this episode because I want to there's other horse soldiers out there I'm, I'm gonna go to Florida I'm gonna see if I can pick a few up and then we'll do a you know a good comparison the to, whole Calvary yeah the yeah. whole yeah the whole platoon <laughs> <laughs> that'd be sweet I like it I like it I like, I like it a lot. so now that we've done that we also have a bonus today Brandon and I went out and we went bourbon hunting and we did Pretty good day, but we found a little, a little too good. This right here, and we've been dying to pop this open since we got it home today. It is Traverse City whiskey, barrel proof, but it is a single barrel and it's picked by OHLQ, which is the organization that buys all of the liquor for Ohio and then distributes it. So it is Ohio's pick. The private select. And we're big fans of uh, Traverse City. Um, they're up in Michigan, so we get plenty of their stuff. I'll open half, and then you can open the other half. There oh, you go. Thanks, man. Teamwork. <laughs> What's gonna work? I thought it was like Navy. Wow, they stuff. got their name on the cord. Yeah, yeah. That's how the other one I have is. Nifty. It's good. Supposedly. Supposedly. I, I don't know about this one. I heard it kind of falls flat, but we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so it says for this limited edition release, 
We've hand selected the most flavorful whiskey in our Rick House, aged for more than four years. It's bourbon in its most natural state, uncut and bottled at full barrel proof. Crafted to sip slowly and enjoy during life's defining moments. Cheers. Sounds pretty good. Sounds, sounds pretty good. good. I doubt it's that good. It sounds pretty good. Oh, okay. Okay. Ladies first. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, what you're hiding under there? That. <laughs> <laughs> Is it nummy? Yeah, it smells really good. Oh, okay. It doesn't smell as strong as the horse. No, thing. it's not. It's not as strong. It's 58. I... <laughs> 58. Yeah. It's, it's what, 57? Mm hmm. No, this one's 58.5. Ah! Yeah. That's right, weak. Get out of here. Good. Get out of here. 0.4% more. Okay, a lot of the same notes. I get. <sighs> oh, really? This one's more berry. Oh, see, I get way more pepper out of this. I get way more berry out of this. Well, it's definitely not cherry. I'm getting more like mixed berry, like blueberries, raspberries. Mm -hmm. and a little bit of banana. Yeah, banana, it's, banana. It's, it's, it's definitely not as sweet. Bowl, a fruit bowl. Yeah, Summer it's definitely bowl. not as sweet. It's a little more raw. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Good stuff. Sorry. That's good. A lot of leather. A lot of leather. Old books. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I'm getting leather, books, the back. I'm getting all the, the weird, like, old, just stuff. I'm getting, like, fruits and. I'm getting the fruit. I'm getting the same fruit oh, I got yeah. on my nose, though. It's. It's, uh. It's translating through. I mean, I mean it's like. A note and a half. It's not like everything, but it's like the notes that I like. That I want. It's good. Interesting. I like it. I like it too. I like it too. I, feel like I don't the, like it as much as the horse soldier. I think the horse soldier is more peppery and spicy. See, this one sits on your tongue. Yeah. Like this one's thinner though. It's it's thinner than the horse soldier. The horse, horse soldier. I don't think it's as. It has. It doesn't have the depth the horse soldier does. No, no, no. And it doesn't have. This is a lot hotter on the yeah. palate. Um, like when it hits your tongue, it doesn't want to leave. Right. It it sticks with you. But it's very good. Yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But I mean, horse soldier all day. Well, if you're gonna compare it. So that's just me. That's just me. I'm me. It might be the American Eagle on the top of the label. Probably. probably it <laughs> it's probably the freedom. Alright, toast. Toasties. You don't want to use our nice pipe bit? Got a nice calcutta right here, bud. Oh, okay. just, just trying to be fancy. What the? Cook emoji? It's not a cook emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> No, <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to change it up. Um, I wanted the toast to kind of reflect what, you know, what we just talked about in the horse soldier, America. America. Fuck yeah. So our toast today is to her we drink, for her we pray. Our voice is silent never. For her will fight, come what may, the stars and stripes forever. To the troops. To the troops. And, 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 and all the cops. All the cops. <laughs> come on, man. Jeez, please. Anybody that fights for freedom, Jesus. Anybody that please. fights for freedom. Jeez. Should we do it again? <laughs> Anybody that fights for freedom, Yeah, all right. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. See y'all.